Very good. Wednesday morning, 13th of July. We are still in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 11 through 21. And this morning we do verse 20. My topic is a reconciling appeal. So it reads, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making His appeal through us. By definition, an ambassador represents the agenda of his or her homeland. Though he or she lives in a foreign land, the interests of home are paramount. We live in a foreign land. We belong to another kingdom, as the Bible makes it clear. It calls us citizens of heaven, Philippians 3.20, and members of a holy nation, 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But we are assigned a role in the land of our birth. Sometimes that land is hostile territory, and sometimes its familiarity lingers within us. Either way, our agenda is clear. We are to represent the interest of our King and to do so winsomely. We are not simply saved out of this world. We are called to go back into it, proclaiming the fullness of the coming kingdom. Now listen to the next three we are to. First, we are to take the reconciliation of God into a dazed and confused generation. The second we are to. We are to live a holy lifestyle in the midst of an unholy culture. Third, we are to. We are to be representatives of God. Ambassadors are often people who are particularly special to the president or prime minister who appoints them. In our case, we are appointed by the Most High God. Uh, the, the word in Hebrew is for me, it's so beautiful. Most High God is El Elyon. It is a sacred assignment with lives at stake. Familiarize, immerse yourself in the values of the Kingdom of God. Then make your appeal to your culture. Go to individuals, to governments, to social organizations, to economic entities. Go everywhere. The task of an ambassador is broad and the purpose is clear. Affect one kingdom for the sake of another. I pray. Lord Jesus, please help us, guide us and lead us to become great ambassadors, not just ambassadors, but that we can put our mind and our hearts to it, to represent you wherever we go and wherever we put our foot, proclaiming that country, that land, those grounds for you, for your kingdom, which is our kingdom as well. In Jesus' name, Amen.